All right, guys, so how many of you, you guys are gonna have to raise your hands pretty tall because I'm not gonna be able to see you answer this question, but we're gonna go for it. So how many of you have said, hey, what's the fastest way to learn sidearm? And how many of you have gotten the response, go to the field, you must commit hours upon hours in the field. It's like a default response to anybody that's anybody is always the response to somebody. Go to the field. You must grind your heart out at the field. Well, that might work for some people, but I think we all can do a different way that can be more fun and a better learning experience. And that's what we're gonna cover today in today's Tip Tuesday. So you're at the course. You only have time for nine holes, 18 holes, whatever it may be. What I want you to do is go sidearm only really simple concept that I don't think a lot of people do. I think they just get in such a rhythm, okay, hole one at this course, I know it, I've thrown it a thousand times. It's a backhand PA2 that slides right up. Stop, stop, get out of that mentality. Grab that PA2 again, this time throw it as a sidearm. Uh, the next hole, uh, you got, just go every hole, just do that. Instead of saying, okay, I'm gonna throw this really high speed driver on a skip shop that hooks way left on a backhand, take a understable mid-range and just finesse it on a nice slow anhyzer around that corner. Try that out. It's going to force you to be creative. It's going to force you to learn new shots that you've never even thought about throwing. It's going to force you to use discs that you've never learned or never even a thought of throwing. And while it might not be the most mechanical way of doing things, it's not gonna teach you the proper grip. It's not gonna teach you the proper pressure. It's gonna start teaching you release angles. It's gonna start teaching you how to throw a different disc and it's gonna build your confidence and 90% of the game is confidence. If you have confidence in your shot, you can get away with some bad mechanics. I've done it. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of people do it. You look at all the top golfers in the world. They're not robots. They don't all look the same. They all have their own unique ways of doing things. See so yeah, you guys, that is just a quick, quick way of learning sidearm and making it fun uh, you know like i said a lot of us just find it so boring to go out to the field they find it so just i, I don't have time i just i want to go throw man i just want to go throw so go throw go throw sidearm and for you sidearm dominant players just reverse this and if you were always sidearm and everything but you want to learn backhand uh, flip it throw only backhands so just a quick easy gentle introduction back into tip tuesday i missed you guys i'm so glad to be making videos again and yeah guys uh leave me in the comments leave me a comment i haven't done it so long it's like blah, 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 blah. in the comment section leave me a comment down below what do you guys want to see on the next tip tuesday i'm looking more sidearm theme for next tuesday but we could go with whatever let's see what you guys have to say down there and hello all the new subscribers i see you i see you i see you so like always guys like it share it tell your buddy that just he wants to learn sidearm, but he's always throwing backhand. Share the video to him. Say, hey, dude, check this guy out. All right, guys, until next time, as always, take it easy, and thank you again for all your support.